Hey, so I wanna make sure that you're being more successful with your herbal medicine. So I wanna address four mistakes because I see them happening all the time. People choose it wrong, make it wrong, store it wrong, or take it wrong. So number one, choosing your plants, you have to make sure that the plants you are working with are compatible with your body, your constitution, your condition. In my last video, I spoke about the benefits of Hawthorne, but let me be clear, just because it is primarily known and used as a cardiac herb, doesn't mean that it's the right cardiac herb for you. With herbal medicine, we go deeper than matching plants with symptoms. We match plants with people. Number two, people make it wrong. Everything can't be taken as a tea. And if you are making tea, make sure you're steeping it for like 20, 30 minutes. We have a lot of our infusions steeping for 24 hours or more. And some plants need to be decocted or tinctured. There are over 15 medicine preparations that I teach inside Herbal Medicine for the Soul. And I plan to add at least 10 more to the course. It's super important for you to make your medicine the right way so that you get the most therapeutic benefit from it. Number three, storage. The shelf life of plants isn't indefinite. Make sure you're storing in airtight containers away from direct sunlight. And when you notice that the potency of the plants is you know, diminishing, don't throw them away. You can use them in baths, rinses, sprays, incense, smoking blends if that's appropriate for you. You can even make jewelry or plant dyes. There's so many good ways to use it, so definitely don't throw them away. And then number four, people often take their medicine the wrong way. And you cannot take plants with a pills mindset. This is probably the most common mistake that I see people making. And I'm gonna talk about this in detail on my Herbal Medicine Masterclass on Wednesday. So be sure to sign up through the link in the bio. But for now, have fun with your medicine making adventures.